Acts chapter 14, verse 22, and it reads, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. Tribulation, Israel. Much tribulation. But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord boring, right? It's fun, 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 right? That's what it's all about, right? Having fun. We're just going to dance our way into the kingdom, right, Israel? We're just going to party our way into the kingdom, right, Israel? We're just going to laugh our way into the kingdom, right, Israel? That's what it's all about, right? Huh? Don't warn the people. Just say, just have fun. Cook some burgers, huh? If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. Remember that. Isaiah 8 and 20. Acts chapter 14, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, telling them to push, push, push. It's going to get hard. It's going to get tough. Push, push, push. Believe, believe, believe. Keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith. That's why the apostles constantly prayed to increase their faith. They constantly prayed to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to increase their faith. Because they knew how rough it was going to be. You see? But oh yeah, let's have fun, right? And exhorting them to continue in the faith. Keep believing in something that you don't see. That's what faith is. Keep believing in the things that you don't see. The Lord promised Israel a kingdom. But you see what Israel got to go through to get to the kingdom? Much tribulation, Israel. It's not a cakewalk. They, they lying to you, Israel. They lying to you. And our people love lies. They, they hate the truth. We giving it to you black and white. Starting off with the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone, right? And that we, the hopeful elect, must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And let's get that definition. I want to get that definition. Let's just get the definition. These other Israelite groups, look, look, they, they, they feeding you Kool-Aid. You see, they're not feeding you the truth. Let's get the definition, man. Tribulation. Let's play it. Tribulation. Tribulation. A cause of great trouble or suffering. We're living in a time of suffering, Israel, and we can't be ashamed. When we go through these things that we go through, these different trials, these different tests, can't be ashamed. That's why we constantly pray to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to keep their spirits on us, to be able to endure. Because he that endureth into the end, the same shall be saved, right? A state of great trouble. Look, look, Jacob's trouble is getting ready to pop off, man. But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord boring. Are you are you serious? It's better to go to the house of mourning than the house of feasting. That's the end of all men and women. See that thief is it's gonna come upon the majority of our people because they ain't looking. They look, they're not watching. Look, they ain't doing nothing but having fun. Look, look, that's what it's all about. That's what their leaders push, right? Trouble, worry. Anxiety. Let's click on that right quick. So something quick, man, through the spirit. You watch these other Israelite groups and you say to yourself, what the hell are they doing? They're setting up the people for a fall. You see? Look, look, lead them right to the slaughter, man. Ain't warning them. You see a sword coming. You see destruction coming. You have been warned. The Lord gave you the clues, gave you the mysteries, gave you the secrets of what's coming on the pipeline, and you don't warn nobody. You tell them, don't worry about nothing. Everything's all good. Just have some fun. Just have some fun. Two step. You think you're going to two step your way into the kingdom? Anxiety, a feeling. This is one of the definitions for tribulation, right? Through much tribulation, Israel. Anxiety, a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease, typically about an imminent 
event or something with an uncertain outcome. Perilous. Remember last days, perilous times, uncertain, hazardous, dangerous. Those are the times that we're living in. You see? We're living in a time of suffering. And these other Israelite groups, they don't tell you that you're going to have to suffer. They say it ain't, it ain't no such thing as Jacob's trouble. You see? That, that's what they say. But we're confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. It is what it is. In, increase our faith. You see? That's what it's all about. We're constantly praying to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai to increase our faith, man. This thing is deadly serious. St. Luke chapter 17, verse 5, and it reads, And the apostles said unto the Lord, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, increase our faith, because we're going to show enough needed. Stormy weather is coming. It's here. More storms are coming. More tribulation. Tribulation, tribulation never seen before on the face of the earth. It look, look, it's coming. Go to the house of mourning, Israel. It ain't all fun. It ain't all games. St. Luke 17 and 5. And the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. Look, we need to do more praying, more fasting. Just constantly begging Yahweh by Shimei was shy to, look, to have mercy on us, man. But we're going to have to go through some things, though. Let's get this. The Lord went through it. Look, we're going to have to go through it. These other Israelite groups, they, they're not bringing out scriptures like this. They're too busy doing debates and having parties and all that. They're not, they're not telling you what's real. They're not preparing you for the real deal. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. Let's just get this. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh, Lord Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus, suffered in the flesh. He, he had to suffer to make it into the kingdom. You see? For as much then as Yahweh Shai have suffered for us in the flesh. Bear with me. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, For as much then as Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who you eagerly call Jesus, has suffered for us in the flesh. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind. You see? But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord boring. Shit is deadly serious out here. Things popping off left and right. Judgment going forth. The Lord bring forth his judgment each and every day. But oh yeah, it's an Israelite party, right? As long as you, as long as you guys, as long as you get to turn it up, right? It's all about turning up, right? It's time to get serious, man. We need the Lord. We once again, we well, we always say this through the spirit of Yahweh, but Shemesh shall prove it according to the scriptures. Ain't nobody saved yet. First Peter chapter four verse one. For as much then as Yahweh shall have suffered for us in the flesh, he wasn't just a spirit. The Lord suffered in the flesh when he was on the earth. Arm yourself likewise with the same mind that he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. We got to arm, uh, uh, arm our minds just like Lord Yahweh shot. We know we going to suffer. We preparing our minds to suffer, man. And we constantly praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot to keep his spirit on us to be able to endure whatever sufferings we have to go through. Remember, fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Let's get that. No, we're just, whatever the, fear, the spirit feeds me, I'm going to feed you, Israel. Much tribulation, Israel. Let's get this. Matter of fact, let's get, let's get um, Revelation. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Much tribulation. To, get, to enter into the kingdom, look, all of us are going to catch pure hell. That gold is showing sure up going to be tried in that fire. Revelation chapter 2. Verse 10, and it reads, Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. This red letter. This Lord Yahweh shall speak it, who they even call Jesus, right? And 144 on the screen. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, because suffering is part of the walk. Behold, the devil, sleazy Esau, Edom, shall cast some of you into prison, meaning the concentration camps. But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord uh, born, right? 
We make the Lord, us just, once again, us just bringing out the truth, bringing out the scriptures. Giving it to you like a T.I. is. We make serving the Lord boring because we ain't just jumping around like hyenas, monkeys, and gorillas, and apes, and giraffes. Sleazy is about to throw the majority of the Israelites into concentration camps. It's going to be a great famine. All hell going to break loose. World War III going to pop off. The hour of temptation, Sleazy is coming in with great wrath. He's going to make it mandatory that you take that sea hip. So it's time to get serious, Israel. The hell with all the plan. It's time to get serious. And you still watching these other Israelite groups that are not even preparing you for what's coming. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Concentration camps that ye may be tried. We're going to be tested, man, more than what we're being tested with now. And you should have tribulation. Then we just read that. Then we just read tribulation, catching a whole lot of hell. Ten days, a period of time. Could be ten, could be more, could be less. Be thou faithful unto death. Remember, increase our faith. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. But we make serving the Lord boring, all right? You see, yeah, we, we, look, look, ain't, ain't, just have fun, have fun. That's what it's all about to these other Israelite groups. Just have some fun, right? Don't get serious. Don't worry about all the hell that's coming on the pipeline, right? Second Timothy chapter one, verse eight. Let's just click on it. Second Timothy chapter one, verse eight, and it reads, Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Don't be ashamed. Confess the Lord to the whole world, screaming to the mountaintop, Israel. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And what's the testimony of Lord Yahweh Shai? The spirit of prophecy. Don't be afraid to tell these people what's going to happen before it even happened. You see, nor of me, his prisoners, because we're all prisoners of hope, right? We're prisoners of hope, right? But be thou partaker of the afflictions. Of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. And you got these other Israelite groups, they're trying to escape the afflictions. You're not going to be able to escape these afflictions. It's going to come upon the whole world. The scriptures say that it's going to come upon the whole world. You see? So we're arming our minds with the same mind that Lord Yahweh Shai had, knowing, knowing that we're going to suffer. And then the Lord said, Those fiery trials, they're going to come out of the blue, Israel. These fiery trials is going to come out of the blue. Let's get that Romans right quick. Matter of fact, I'm saying, let's just get what faith is right quick. You see, we're prisoners of hope. Remember the apostles, I'm saying, and the disciples and the men under them pray for more faith to increase their faith. Let's prove what faith is. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Let's just click on it. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So we have been given the gift. We have been blessed with the gift to believe in something that we don't see. All, all odds are stacked against us. And we got faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that we're going to win. No matter what the odds look like, no matter what's stacked up against us. We believe in things that we don't see. Remember Elisha to his understudy, the young lad? Don't worry about what you see. It's about the things that you don't see. It's more of us than more of them. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh opened his eyes and he seen what was around him. It was nothing but chariots, man. Nothing but chariots, spaceships, angels, man. That's a spirit that we're coming in. Once again, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we don't have to believe in some. Just, just, we don't have to believe in something that we see. We believe in the things that we don't see. You see? And that's Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and the kingdom, man. So it is what it is. This is just a quick little lesson, man. The flesh is weak, but the spirit truly is willing. So it's going to be a constant fight, man. It's going to be a constant fight, Israel. Fight that good fight of faith. Lay hold until eternal life. 
and the things that we're going through now, and the suffering that's coming, that, and lots of suffering that's going to come our way, look, it's only but for a moment. We're going to go over and get that too. Revelation chapter 8. Revelation chapter 8, verse 16, and it reads, The Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. This, this Bible, this word lets us know exactly who we are. We, we ain't got to fight tooth and nail to prove who we are according to the Bible. The Bible lets us know exactly who we are. We fit the curses, man, all right? Without a shadow of a doubt. They always tell us to prove it, prove it, prove it. The scriptures prove who we are, right? And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with him. But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord born, right? The Lord said, you want to become joint heirs with me? Then you got to suffer with me, right? It's not going to always be an Israelite party. It's not going to always be glamour and glitz. You see? That ye that we may also be glorified together. Let me read that again. 17. And if children and heirs. Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if children and heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, if so be that we suffer with them, that we may be also glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, because all of us are catching hell and more hell to come. Everything ain't all pieces and cream. These other Israelite groups, they, they got you thinking that ain't nothing going on. They got you thinking that every day is a lovely day. They got you thinking that they ain't catching no kind of hell. Bills are paid. They got the perfect body. That's what, they, that's what they're making you think. Life is just grand. They, look, they're not redeeming the times then. These other Hebrew Israelite groups, they're not redeeming the time. They're not work, walking circumspectly, Israel. But that's who you love. That's who you watch. You take notes from them. Guys that are breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Guys that are giving you false hope. That's who you love. That's who you believe. So fall with them then. And look, 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 fall with them then. For I reckon the sufferings of this present time, barely having food on the table, Barely having a job or either looking for a job, just catching a prayer 144 on the screen. Just straight up going through it, right? The sufferings of this present time and everything that I read. Remember, I read Revelation 2 and 10 being thrown into a concentration camp. You see, being defamed, being ridiculed, being lied on. The Lord said the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory of we shall be revealed in us if we endure. Look, look, if we endure, Israel, and it's just something quick, man. These other Israelite groups got you thinking that it's all about an Israelite party. You see, that's, that's what it's always about. It's about, look, don't watch, don't pray. Let's just party, let's just dance. We're just going to dance the night away, right? 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's get the matter of fact. Let me see. We'll start at 16. We'll start at 16. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our, our man perish, because we, 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 this body breaks down daily. You see, this corrupt flesh breaks down daily, right? The outward man perish daily, right? Yet the inward man, that spirit, is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. The things that we're going through and the things that are coming down the pipeline is but for a moment, Israel. Worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You see? Well, listen, I, and I got, I got to blow this up. I got to blow it up. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen. But at the things which are not seen. Remember faith, Israel? Believing in something that we don't see? Remember that? Why we look not at... Because that's, that's two-thirds of our people. They're very carnal. They trust in the things that they see. They don't have faith in the things that they don't see. Why we look not at the things which are seen. But at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. Everything that I'm looking at right about now is temporary. 
It's going to burn, soon come. It's here one day, gone the next, right? But the things which are not seen are eternal, Israel. And that's the kingdom. And that's what we're fighting for. But we're going to have to show enough suffer to get to it. We're going to have to show enough suffer to get to it. Exhorting them daily to continue in the faith, no matter how rough it get. Easier said than done, but with Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all things are possible, Israel. All things are possible, and I got one more, and then I'm going to close it. 1 Corinthians. This 1 Corinthians. Let's see. Bear with me. Is it the 13th chapter? Let's see. Just a quick little lesson, man. Through the Spirit, Lord willing, the elect is edified. Matter of fact, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll start at 7. Beareth all things, believeth all things. Hold matter of fact, let's blow it up. Just blow it up. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Don't let none separate you from the love of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And we ain't got nowhere to go. We ain't got nowhere to go. And the Lord said he ain't going to put nothing on us. We can't handle it. And I, and I do want to end off. I do want to end off on that. Let's just end off on that. First Corinthians chapter 10. Yahweh, Bah, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. ain't going to put nothing on us. We can't handle Let's get that. First Corinthians chapter 10. Let's see. Bear with me. Let's get this. That's why we constantly pray for each other each and every day. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. They have no temptation taking you, but such is as common to man. Whatever you're going through, you ain't the first one that didn't been through it. You see, what I'm going through, I'm not the first one to go through it. You see, they have, they have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But Yahweh is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, man. The Lord ain't going to put nothing on us we can't handle. And look, and we got to know that. That takes faith to believe in that, Israel. It takes faith to know that what you're going through, the Lord has a spirit on you to be able to go through it, man. And make it through it. That's faith right there, man. But Yahweh is faithful through his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it, Israel. That's the power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So I just want to do a little lesson, man, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh on just suffering. Remember the fiery trials, thing just happening out of the blue, Israel. Get, get ready for it, all of us. But oh yeah, we make serving the Lord born, right? Suffering is part of the walk. Much tribulation, Israel. Shall we enter into the kingdom? Lord's will. Shalom. Thank you.